What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm going to show you how to fix a TV that has sound but no picture. So I have the TV back cover off and I'm gonna show you the steps to troubleshoot your TV and hopefully this video will help you out. This is the main logic board plug right here. And so the power supply board is supplying the standby voltage going to the main logic board to turn on the main logic board. Now the main logic board also has a feedback voltage going back out to the power supply board. So when you hit the power button on the TV or on the remote, it first goes to the main logic board. And then that signal gets sent out to the power board and then the high voltage turns on. So without the standby voltage, this board is dead. So the first thing we check is the standby voltage. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're gonna put our meter in DC mode. So right here, it says pin one, 5.1 V, and the V is volts. And then next to that, it says SB, and SB stands for standby volts. All right, so let's go ahead and check the standby voltage. And that is the voltage, again, to turn on the main logic board. So we're gonna put our black lead on the ground source, which is the chassis of the TV, um, or you can put it on a ground screw, but I like to put it on the chassis of the uh, TV as a good ground source, and that's the black lead on your meter. All right, so next, I'm gonna put it up pin one. And there's a number one right there next to pin one, which is the white wire. And we are getting, right now, should be about five volts. And yeah, we're getting 5.2 volts, which is good. And then pin two is also standby volts. And we're getting 5.2, and that's reading good. So our standby voltage is good. So our power supply is most likely good. Uh, now, let's check. Pin three it should be zero volts because it's, it's a ground. Okay, and it is. Uh, pin four, zero volts because it's a ground. Pin five, zero volts. And then next one is 12 volts. Well, the reason why we don't have 12 volts is because the TV is not on. So let's go ahead and press the power button on the TV. Make sure the TV is plugged in. All right, there we go. And power button, I just pressed the power button just now and 12 volts, pretty close to 12 volts. And then the next pin is 12 volts also, looks like. I know, this one's 12 volts, and then that next one's 12 volts. And then next one is the power supply on and off signal. That's the signal coming from the main logic board. And that's the feedback voltage from the main logic board. That's how you know the main logic board is um, active, it's working. And then let's check the backlight. It looks like, the, is that the backlight? I think it's the, it says BL on off. So it looks like the backlight uh, feedback. And it's also 3.3, pretty close to 3.3. That's good. Now what the TV turned off, you notice that it goes to zero. All right. And then this is zero and my 12 volts are zero as well. And these voltages only appear when the TV is on. You know our main logic board and our power supply board is working just off this plug alone. What about the, the TCOM board? How do you test that? Well, there's a couple ways to test it, but here's my particular way to test it. And Shop Jimmy also does it that way as well. You should check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, so what you wanna do now is turn on the TV Hit power on the TV and this light should turn on. All right, so next, what you wanna do with the TV on, you wanna press the menu button. And I press the menu button, but you don't see anything on the screen. It looks like it's turned off. So let's get a flashlight and then we're gonna shine it on the screen and see if we see any images. All right, so as you can see right there, see where the screen, it says audio. And that's how you know the TCOM board is working because you can actually read the word audio if you put a flashlight to it. All right, now let's go ahead and check out the voltage going to the LED driver board. So we're gonna put our meter in DC volts again. And 
and let's go ahead and check out the voltage. Now there's a chart as well, it says LED1, and then it says NC, there's no connection there. And uh, V out one should be 100 volts. If it reads 130 volts, then the LED backlight is bad. If it reads zero volts, then the LED driver section is bad on the power supply board. V out one, and V out one is uh, about like 130 volts. 120, it looks like it's floating between 120 and 130 volts. Behind this metal chassis, looks like we have a bad LED backlight strip. So we're gonna have to replace that. Now if this was reading 100 volts, that means everything's working properly. And, but, and if it was reading zero volts, that means the LED driver section is defective. So part of troubleshooting is process of elimination. And stay tuned for part two to this video, how to actually replace the LED backlight for under $100. And also how to troubleshoot your backlight using the Shop Jimmy's LED backlight tester. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And share this video to anyone this video may interest or help. And subscribe to Tampa Tech for more how-to videos like this one.